Hi everybody, Nancy here. I just had a thought. Today is actually Sunday and I just finished uploading a video, but I scheduled it to upload in the middle of the night. I think I'm going to start doing stuff like that. Um, I kind of think if it would help, maybe you could let me know in the um, in the comments what you think about this. We're a small group. We, we can be friendly here. I need help. I'm thinking that I might start planning specific days, like every Monday and Wednesday or Thursday, or, you know, somehow scheduling when I will post something. Now, this is the second video I've done today, and the first one I have scheduled to to load in the middle of the night. And I'll probably, I definitely will schedule this one to upload after that because I'm going to reference yesterday's video or the last video, I should say that. I'm going to reference the last video in this one because, you know, again, I always see things I should have said in the previous video. And one of them, you'll watch, uh, you'll notice that I did it absolutely the hard way, you know, doing the horizontal scrolling and adding the spine so that it looks like it, it doesn't escape my attention that I should have, it would have been so easy to just um, uh, put it into a pre-existing book like any template that I would use it, like I would do it with any template. But no, no, I didn't, I wanted to show another way of doing things. That's, I'm showing you what I play with, and I wanted to see how that would look and how that would work and see what it would do. And so you get to see me experience, experimenting on these videos. And um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and say that I have stopped using iMovie to try and edit anything I do because it's very glitchy. It's it's horrible, actually. I never know what it's going to do, and it's been giving me fits. I'll upload a video, and then halfway in the middle of it, it starts flickering. And, you know, I could set off a, a epileptic fit just for somebody that has that as destined for that you know I, I want to be careful not to show those kind of videos so I actually have a phone appointment believe it or not with the Apple people because I turned in a, a ticket on it and said that I couldn't use it anymore because it was too unpredictable so they're going to call me tomorrow at one and we're going to they're going to try to help me out how, how cool is that <laughs> I never dreamed I would actually get uh, response from them but anyway hopefully I will have the ability to edit again I I would rather not just because you know there's <laughs> if it takes me 10 minutes to do something it takes me an hour to edit it so it's that's just that much more time I'm not spending just playing and it's like I don't know if it's you know, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I, work is different than playing, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's one thing I was thinking about doing. Another thing um, was, oh, I, I, when possible, I'm going to start trying to add chapters to the uh, video I hope I can do that. Like that one. When yesterday or the last video I did, I, I talked about so many different things. And you might not care about listening to me talk about certain things. So you might want to jump straight to the part where it's she's going to talk about defaults on, on shapes, you know, and I'll title it that shape defaults or something like that. Again, that's editing and that takes a lot of time but I think on 
the way I'm so loosey-goosey and jumping around, I think it might help. We'll see. Um, uh, okay, so the whole point of this particular video was to point out the fact that it does not at all escape my attention that there was a way easier way of doing what I did yesterday or the last video um, where I put the spine in the middle. But I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm playing, I'm practicing, I'm learning. And so that's what these videos are all about. And I, I let you see what I'm playing with and showing you how to use the tools and how not to use the tools, <laughs> mistakes you can make and how to barrel your way through them and get um, past the problem. Um, but I, um, I did, it did not escape my attention that it would have been a whole lot easier to just do this. Now this is the document that I created and even though it was a hundred I mean I didn't create it that I, I got from that website all it is is the same two pages repeated 50 times and obviously all I needed to do was create templates out of those let me show you what what another way of doing it I'm gonna that's one of the pages the first on the left side so I'm just gonna grab it and save it as a symbol so I'm gonna tap off and do copy and then I'm gonna double tap to paste it um, while it's selected I'm gonna go ahead and create a symbol I'm gonna go to this this is a a folder of templates and I'm just gonna do plus and while it's open I'm gonna go ahead and name it that's why I would prefer to have uh, do it this way, doing the plus sign. Let's see, this is, uh, I'm going to change this. It's a blog, but I'm going to change it to video just because video uh, ideas, I guess is what it is. Ideas. Space. Page one. Done. Now I'm going to do the process again, go to the next page and do grab. See when it, it's so cool because it remembers the last thing you did. So it perfectly centered the grab um, rectangle. Tap off, do copy, double tap to paste it, go back to the symbols. Oops. And again, do the plus down at the bottom. Go ahead and name it. Video ideas, page two. Video ideas, page two. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I usually do leave the symbol in the title just because that makes it another level of unique that way i'm not constantly fighting with having the same name for different things you know you i've got so many symbols right now i always leave the word symbols and the number whatever number comes behind it to keep it a little bit different all right so now i've got those two things i'm gonna go oops that's another thing I do all the time. I, I pull up from the bottom and it closes the notes, you know. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go out and start from scratch. Go here and go to templates. And I'm going to find a paper template that is double-sided that looks like a book. So I'm going to do this digital 4-3 and it asked me if I want to create a new document. Yes, I do. So now it opens up. And now all I have to do is go to my um, 
See, this is so much simpler, I think. And get the page two. I don't know uh, that I will ever need that as a symbol again anymore. I'll have to pay attention to it and see what all's on this. I haven't even looked at it to see if I'll actually use it for anything, but uh, for demonstration purposes. So now, if I want a new page, I'm, I'm not going to create any more pages until I need them. And so right now I'm sitting here with one page, one of one. And if I want to, tomorrow I want to add another one, I'll just do the, oops, don't do what I just did. I just hit the plus, which is right next to the pages. Let me go to pages and delete that. I accidentally hit it with my pen. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back here. No, do done. Go back. What I should have hit was the duplicate. So that now it, the duplicate is working. And while I've just got one um, page, I'm going to go ahead and set the the turning because I did not realize that the vertical was turned on. And I want it to turn center and do done. But I still want to draw a... rectangle symbol now I notice that this has got a green edge that symbol what that points out is that when you set a default it is document specific every document stores its defaults so now I need to tap off and go to symbols and change that from that. I'm not going to have a fill. I'm not going to have. I'm just going to have the draw shadow. Because that's the way I roll. Okay. That's what I always want it to be. So that's what I'm setting it at. Now see it didn't change the existing one that I just created. That's when you have to select it and make that same change. So I've just selected it. Now, if I tap on it, I get the menu. Now, if I go to draw shadow and go to fill and turn off the fill, now that's changed the one that's on the page. It really didn't matter because I'm going to delete it anyway, but I just wanted to point that out. Now I'm going to go to the gear and set selected and do done. So now when I do the duplicate, all the pages that I duplicate are going to have the perfect turn. Although it looks like I might not have done it too perfectly up at the top. Yeah, I should have gone a little higher, but that's okay. You know, again, see now I just did a plus and that's what happens. I No, I didn't do a plus, but the next page was the one that was wrong and now if I do a duplicate it's gonna be wrong every time so you have to start with if you're gonna duplicate you need to start with one that does it right okay now I'll do duplicate and it'll turn right okay so I've just created a whole new document in a matter of seconds and uh, it's ready to roll all right so I think that's all. I don't know. Did I tell you about the, I'm going to start with just the day, date. I'm starting with just the date because I have no clue what I'm going to talk about when I do these videos. <laughs> there is no plan. So I, unlike the other uh, channel, on the other channel, I, tr I know what I'm going to talk about, you know, um, because... I have a topic, and it's all right, I'm going to show this. But on these, it's kind of go with the flow with what I run across and what I see and what I bump into. So I'm just going to leave it that way. If I don't know for sure what I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to put the date 
on the welcome page. All right. Okay, y'all have a great day here. Bye.